Hello fellow Guardians, Bolts of the Plays here, bringing you another episode of Close Encounters of the Zur Kind. It's the weekend of November 18th through the 20th, and Zur is in the reef again. Let's see what he's got. First up we have the Legacy Engram. It's chest armor this week, so if there's any year one chest pieces you do not have, it might be worth picking up, otherwise it's a pass. Titans, get the Internal Warrior Helmet. The exotic perk is Resolute. Gain Unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. It's got increased strength or increased intellect. Inner Shadow or Heavy Lifting. And Innervation. Stat roll isn't horrible on this, but there are just better exotics out here. This is more or less, for the most part, usually just one to finish off your exotic collection. Hunters, get the Knucklehead Radar Helmet. Its exotic perk is Sensor Pack. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. It's got increased discipline or increased strength. Inverse Shadow or Ashes to Assets. And Infusion. Same as the Titan Helmet. This is more or less going to be, for the most part, just something to finish up your collection of exotics. Uh, some people enjoy the radar, the third eye radar for your primaries, like in Crucible and stuff. But there's also now an artifact that does that, so it's kind of made this exotic obsolete. Warlocks get the Impossible Machines Gauntlets. Its exotic perk is Lightning Rod. It unlocks the Stormcaller subclass node Landfall for free. On casting Storm Trance, fire a bolt of lightning into the ground, creating a devastating shockwave under you. Tells us increased intellect or increased strength. Snap Discharge, or Impact Induction, Auto Rifle Loader, or Machine Gun Loader. Not a bad exotic if you run Storm Trance. Um, if you can get a hold of either the new boots that came in Rise of Iron or the new arms, those are better options. But if you don't have those, these are a good stepping stone option. Landfall is very nice when you're popping your super. And the gun this week, the Suros Regime Auto Rifle. It's got Field Choke, Linear Compensator, or Smart Drift Control. Spinning Up, or Focused Fire. Suros Legacy is the exotic perk, so the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. So it's glass half full plus being able to return health. Hammer Forged or lightweight. And then this is also part of its not really exotic perk, but it's what makes this more of an exotic too. You got spinning up, so the longer the weapon's fired, it fires faster. Or you can go focus fire where you zoom in and it fires slower, causing additional damage. Not the best gun. It used to, in year one it was amazing. But since they've messed with auto rifles, it just is not sitting in that. The high impact auto rifles just do not sit in any kind of comfort zone in the meta, really. It's fun to play with, but if you're trying to consistently do good, it's not worth an exotic slot for sure. Weapon ornaments this week we have the Shock Hazard for the Zalo Supercell. It looks like. The cool looking one with the lightning design and everything on it. Then we also have the Born in Fire weapon ornament for the Young Wolf's Howl. It's the one where it looks like the sword's cracking through lava and stuff. So it's two of the better looking weapon ornaments this week. The only downside is it's 25 silver dust. So if you've got that much sitting around that you don't have anything else to spend it on, it might be worth picking one of them up to have a cool looking weapon. Curios this week. We have the Plasma Drive or the Emerald Coil Vehicle Upgrades. It'll turn your Rare Sparrow into Legendary. We have the Heavy Ammo Synthesis. You get three for one Strange Coin. We have the Three of Coins. You'll get five of them for seven Strange Coins. We have the glass needles. You get three of them for three strange coins, three bolts of light, and an exotic shard. 
Then we have the material exchange. You'll get a mode of light for every two strange coins you trade in. So that was Zer stock for the weekend of November 18th through the 20th. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what he brought, what you're still hoping he might bring. And then check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash both little plays. You can check me out stream from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Boltzilla Plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.